this. Hey, Internet. Well, there's only a week left in the Kickstarter, so I wanted to talk about some of the rewards. To answer that, we need a quick history lesson. You see, hundreds of years ago, back in the 1980s, computer displays were fairly primitive. When they first came out with color monitors, the earliest ones were only capable of displaying 16 possible colors, and animated computer graphics could only use four colors on the screen at any one time. At first, you could only choose between a blue and purple color scheme, like Prince of Persia, or this red and green one, like Total Eclipse. This was all controlled by something called the Color Graphics Adapter. And later, something called the Enhanced Graphics Adapter allowed 16 colors to be used at the same time, out of a possible 64. Early graphic adventures were almost all EGA. So, right about now you're probably wondering what any of this has to do with the uh, Kickstarter rewards. Well, these are all the materials you use to make the pixel art. These are the uh, colored pixels, and this is one of the keychain medallions. So what you do to make one of these is you take a sheet of the pixels and you pop one off with tweezers, and then you place it. And you do that over and over and over and over again. So, um... I will uh, just fast forward through this part. like that, you have everyone's favorite plumber. Well, I made a couple other examples. Uh, Mega Man and the Black Mage from Final Fantasy 1. The uh, Hero from Quest for Glory 2. Sonny Bonds taking a shower in the first police quest. Always thought that was kind of ridiculous. The lovable idiot Roger Wilco facing the Labian Terror Beast in Space Quest 2. Leisure Suit Larry outside of Lefty's Bar. Johnny Westland from Codename Iceman on the beach in Tahiti and in his full dress whites at the Pentagon. And finally, Gwydion, at the beginning of King's Quest III, staring longingly out the evil wizard Mananen's window, hoping to be free. Well, unfortunately, he dies, like, a thousand times, immediately after this point in the game. So, the reason I can only do an EGA or a CGA game is uh, to limit the amount of colors involved, because otherwise it would just get impossibly complex. So, there's only a couple days left in the Kickstarter, and um, if it doesn't make it, I just wanted to say uh, how overwhelmed I am by the positivity and all these uh, awesome messages and emails that I've received. Um, if, if you're someone who has pledged to this project, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, if you have passed it along on social media or, or you know, shown it to a friend, or just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Even even if this doesn't happen, just having done this, having attempted it, and 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 the exposure that I've gotten to so many amazing new people has just been really wonderful. So regardless of what happens, just thank you very, very much, and thank you for watching this video.